John Yusnow is the French member of the European Parliament, also a member of the EU Fisheries Committee. Uh, Stéphanie Yon Cortin, thank you very much indeed uh, for joining us. Uh, first of all, what, what is illegal breaking the Brexit agreement about what's happening in Jersey? Well, what is illegal is that uh, the treaty hasn't been uh, respected and what we want is uh, definitely uh, uh, the, the respect of the whole treaty, only the treaty. And, uh, um, well, you know, it's uh, very frustrating. It seems like a shock, really, very surprising. Um, and it's a bit, it's devastating, the, the very good relationship we had so far between, you know, the fishermen, French fishermen and, and fishermen in Jersey and, and the whole relationship, basically, between the North the territory and uh, and the Jersey territory. So um, um, while well, you know it, it just uh, it's just a nonsense that uh, uh, the fishermen uh, had to uh, cope with uh, um, unilateral measures regarding their licenses, which has been shortened or uh, limited to uh, certain spaces, which uh, is not at all provided in the um, the uh, the cooperation agreement following Brexit. But does that justify uh, blocking the port of St. Helier? That surely is illegal uh, in international law. Yeah, it is illegal, and I mean, as you may know, it just uh, uh, we will always uh, favor, uh, let's say, the uh, dialogue of a retaliation, with, uh, which is of course a, a last resort measure. Uh, this is not about threats. This is about reminding that retaliatory measures exist first in the in the trade agreement, uh, and sending the navy is a classic Boris Johnson tactic as well. He needs a distraction from his problem in the UK. Probably, what we want is just to treat the the French fishermen correctly as the UK and Jersey um, authorities treat their fishermen. Um, we've got a long tradition of very good relationship over the, the past um, uh, decades between the um, Jersey fishermen and French fishermen, and we want that uh, to, to carry on and to continue. But I mean, the uh, French fishermen are very upset by the current uncertainty. They don't yet know when. A lot of people, lot, I mean, a lot of people are very upset, but, but are you saying you actually support this blockade this morning? Well, I, I'm, I'm just, I mean, I would prefer to have a proper dialogue and to stop, uh, um, you know, uh, blockade. But the thing is, uh, we have to make sure that uh, um, we, we can, um, you know, solve the thing. Um, and uh, so I think really, uh, I support the, uh, our fishermen, as I support uh, the work of the uh, Jersey fishermen as well, when they want to, uh, um, you know, operate in the, in, in the French waters as well. You know, so, so really, I, I, I wish that Jersey and the UK government will act in good faith and respect the agreement in full. It's not only about uh, fishing licenses in Jersey, it's about uh, applying and respecting the treaty uh, between both parties, the treaty following the Brexit, you know. What about the threat to cut off Jersey's electricity uh, by, by the French supplier? What, what do you make of that? Well, um, it's... Again, it's a last resort threat, and uh, of course, what I want is just uh, uh, to make sure that uh, we come back to very good uh, and, and a classical re good relationship and classical relations, and we always favor dialogue, as I said, over retaliation. But it's necessary to see that we will act firmly using all the tools we have in the agreement and much more than that. So, I mean, uh, everybody needs to understand that our fishermen need to be supported and need to work. And it's very, very disappointing to see that uh, uh, there are some, there have been some very surprisingly uh, unilateral conditions attached to the license. Um, and and all the, our fishermen were very surprised to discover that uh, the, the treaty is not respected at all. What we want well, is... Yeah, yeah, but listen, hang on, hang on. I've, I've got to put it to you that the aggression and the escalation of this situation does seem to be coming from the French and the EU side. Uh, that, yes, Britain voted democratically to leave the European Union. Yes, an agreement was reached to do that. Yes, we'd all like to see that settled through sensible negotiation. But what we're getting, as we got over the vaccine row, is very heavy-handed threats coming from uh, the European Union. That's not a way to resolve a change relationship between the two uh, blocs, is it? 
I don't think it's a threat. It's just a reminder, as I said, that the well, what to cut off electricity to blockade ports. But I you don't think, think that's a threat? It hasn't been to stop vaccine threat. exports? I mean, all these things are threats, aren't they? No, no, no. I'm not talking about vaccines. I'm talking about the fact that electricity is still on. It's still on, and it's not, uh, it's, it's not um, done uh, already. The idea is, of course, uh, if uh, there is no uh, positive reply and outcome from the UK and Jersey, we will have to, um, uh, you know, explore any ways to uh, make sure that our fishermen are heard. I really want, because I, I really appreciate our uh, people from Jersey, and I know that there is full of solidarity because the um, uh, French and, and Jersey fishermen. So I really would like that, uh, um, you know, there's no, like, let's say, instrumentalization of our fishermen by politicians. So that's the first thing. And I want, I mean, I really want, I don't want any war. I don't want any threat. Uh, it's, not an, uh, it's not a heavy threat. As I said, it's a reminder that uh, the treaty has to be um, respected in full and yeah, only right. the treaty. Yeah, yeah, but my point is you're not respecting the diplomatic process when you support things like this blockade, when you threaten to cut off electricity, that, that's extra diplomatic. I mean, that is straightforward, crude, confrontational politics, as we're now seeing. And that's not going to make it easier, is it, to resolve this matter sensibly? That's why we need to discuss. We need to discuss, and I understand that I, mean, I, I want to favour a discussion first, an agreement first, and dialogue first. So I'm urging the parties, which are um, the Commission, and uh, the French um, um, minister and the French government, which is uh, closely uh, uh, watching, following that, and uh, and the UK to discuss together and to make sure that Jersey, on its part, decides to levy all the unconditional and on this uh, um, on, on this conditional, sorry, and right. on these legal measures, so that we come back to normal. Right. But so what you want is the UK to respect the rules, but your side doesn't respect the rules. Is that right? Well, we are respecting the rules. I don't know what. We are just showing that we, do, we want everybody to respect the rules. We haven't. What have we done uh, so far which is unrespectful, which is illegal? Our fishermen okay. are... Uh, that, that's, that's the thing. We want... Um, let's say business as usual. We want having the same good cordial relationship with our friends and we want a, a, a good negotiation. I mean, it's not a negotiation at all. It's just going back to normal. And uh, I'm sure uh, what I like as well is that any fisherman can be treated the same and uh, that uh, we are not obliging them um, with a uh, surprising with unlawful, with illegal conditions which are not provided in the treaty. Why on earth are we negotiating? Why on earth the European Parliament has ratified the treaty last week uh, if we don't uh, uh, apply it? Again, it's not a teething issue, as some can say, because, you know, I mean, it's not only about uh, fishing licenses in Jersey. It's a matter of trust in our partnership to respect their commitment. Today is fisheries. What would it be okay. tomorrow? Let's hope it can be resolved. Stephanie, uh, Jan Cotin, thank you very much indeed for joining us.